by the woman is to not have ego and arrogance, to be a great leader, to lead with love, to be deeply loyal and dedicated, knowing that your man is your law. The government is not your law. Your man is your law. And stick by him and even prioritize him over your children. Why? You chose him. You didn't even choose your children. They came out how they came out. Your man is number one. If you always take care of your man, your family will be provided for. If you were to lose your man versus say you got five kids, you lose one of your kids, you lose your man, the whole family might fall apart. Everyone's right. done for. You lose one kid, it is what it is. I'm not recommending anyone lose a kid, but that's the level of priority that you have to have towards your man, to be chased. That's good not only for him, but that's also good for you. Females today, they go around, have intercourse with so many people, they're poking their penis into your heart. You finally find the guy you like and your heart is has all these holes in it and it's so incomplete. You have nothing good to offer to him. And also be mentally well. So many women are mentally deranged is because they're existing in unnatural life ways. I mean, I think that's I think that's pretty deep, you know, from a psychological aspect. Uh, I wonder if there would be a difference in relationships if people thought like that. Uh, I can't say that I've let. Let's just say out of ten relationships, you know, I probably have five where I felt like that was the case. You know, honestly probably felt like five, you know, with so much influence that, you know, social media and everything puts on women as far as independence, you know, it almost puts you in direct competition with them rather than, you know, there being some cohesiveness. So, you know, I kind of feel like if people didn't take things personal, if people didn't feel like men were trying to get over on them and they followed, you know, law. If it was them against the world, us against the world, if they had that outlook, I think, I think it would be more successful. You know, understanding that we're all human, we make mistakes, but it's us against the world. You know, I'm sure when people do find that, it's a great feeling, but that's not what exists right now, which is why, you know, relationships are kind of chaos. I think in successful relationships, in successful, healthy relationships, the idea, the principle of your man is your law is the most successful business model to follow. Um, everybody has to be comfortable being role players. It's sort of like the men's, uh, the men's basketball team, right? Um, you got to have your Devin Bookers in order to win the gold, right? gold being a sustainable uh healthy relationship so uh yeah I, th I think that business model is the model that is produces at a higher proficiency i think uh it is unfortunate i think the things that we want in a relationship are rarer than most people's patients um i think that not a lot of people figure out structurally what's going to sustain it when they maintain it both men and women get into it saying, I want to be married, not I want to sustain a long-term healthy relationship with a person that I find in alignment with my goals, right? We might want a certain type of woman to be the woman that fits into our leader, uh, falls under our leadership, but she may not be the right woman for us to lead. So a lot of times pressure back on us because leaders take responsibility for anything that they can do something about. So yeah, I do. I think that's the right business plan. I think that's the business, right business model. Um, I know that in my relationships, that business model has been highly successful. And um, every once in a while, you got to have those human resources moments where you go back and you, re you remind everybody what got us this far. I think sometimes people get two years in, three years in, four years in, five years in, and they forget what made it last that long. I think when my man was sharing his message, it, it really, they probably heard that part about if one of the children dies, so be it, because it, it made it sound heartless. And I think right when he got to that point, a lot of women probably fell on deaf ears, but there was a bigger message in what he's saying. And so what he's saying, you should prioritize your husband 
over anything and all things. And, uh, and unfortunately, that's not how a lot of relationships are in 2024. Sure. It's uh, everything else is priority. Matter of fact, the dog gets more priority than the husband or the man. The, uh, the job gets more, more priority than the husband and the man. Uh, matter of fact, you may care for your car or your vehicle more than you do for your own goddamn man and his well-being, his mental well-being, his physical well-being, his emotional well-being. That's how it is right now. And I think he, what he's saying, if we start doing that, I think the outcomes will be a whole lot different. We'll be a whole lot better. We will probably get better and more uh, productive outcomes than what we've been currently getting. So I, th I think when that message hit, you know, it, it probably didn't sit well with a lot of the ladies that maybe heard this message or is going to hear the message due to that situation. Because well, I'm not going to do. I'm not going. I'm not going to bend my kids for no 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 hard ankle. Ain't a man in the world going to bend my kids. For, okay, I understand. I hear you. And guess what? More than likely, you're not the woman for the men out here who are who are really the, the real men. Now, if you get an old fly by a night sucker who's just in there just to get some ass and, and dip out, he probably don't give a shit. He probably don't care. Okay, that's fine. You can put your you your your snot nose uh crumb satchel over me. I'm just trying to get a shot of ass. But a man who's about his business, a man who's about purpose, a man who's who, who's about his his leadership and 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 just gonna provide some type of structure, not only for you, but for them goddamn crumb snatchers you got. He's not going to accept that. He's not going to tolerate that. He's not going to go for that shit. So he's going to expect certain things. And like, like my man said, your husband should be the governor, should be in charge and should be the leadership. And it, and it should be like that. And, and guess what, ladies, enjoy the blessings you're going to have behind it. Cause that's a lot less stress you're going to have on your life. If you have a man like that, please believe me. I, I had to deal with that shit this morning. I was telling JR on the back. My wife was freaking out. We're dealing with these movers. She's freaking out. She can't handle it. They call her. I told her, give me the phone number. I'll call them. I call them. I text them. I got the shit worked out. I talked to them. Everything's worked out. Now we everything's going to get done starting at 430. If I left it up to her, she would have been crying, upset, bawling, folded in fetal position, and shit would have never got done. Matter of fact, she probably would have cussed them out, and they might have let us go as customers. If I left it all up to her, but that's not the case because she allowed her husband to do things. She expressed a problem. I had a solution. I had to step in there as a husband, as a man. I had to make sure everything was right and fixed. That's our job, ladies. Allow us to do our jobs. And like I said, enjoy the blessings. Hey, Hank. Yes, I'm a sir. Yeah, I, I have a question to you. Uh, how do you balance traditional gender roles with modern laws? that promote equality in relationships? I don't balance them, JR. I, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it, there's no balance with me. I, I Balance? Shit. No. I will not. Because it works well for us. Now, maybe for somebody else, they need that. I, I, I don't believe in it. And it works well for us. She's beneficial for that. Because right then and there, that allowed that what I just did. I gave the example, gave that stress. That was my, my it's my role as a man. I took the stress off her back and, and, and I handled the situation. Now she doesn't have to deal with that no more. Now she's going to relax, enjoy, watch the show, you know, say watch the La Peep and Sunday show and be at peace knowing that her man handled it. So no, I, I don't have no balance now. For those who are maybe looking for it, well, guess what? Y'all have to have a hard and tough conversation with you and the lady. And y'all gonna have to figure this out. What what's each other expectation is for those who do have the balance and willing to balance. Me as a man, I'm not I'm not going to. But for the individuals who are looking for that, you're gonna have to have a conversation and y'all gonna have to have some negotiations. Y'all gonna have to work through some things. That means if you have some uh standards that you have, you gotta stick to your standards. Ladies, same way. You got to stick to your standards. If it's your standards and you don't want to give. Y'all have to negotiate. So it means it's going to, have to be some give and take. That means you might have to do some trading off.